All right, so today we're going to draw that block. I am going to start sketching, and I'm going to start here in the front plane. And again, I'm going to grab a rectangle and draw my shape. Next up, dimension it. This, I believe, is 50. Height of it, 30. Just like we did with that very first block. Now I'm done sketching, so I'll exit the sketch. And then now we'll go to features and we'll extrude it just like we did yesterday. And I believe that we're going to extrude this 30 as well. Now, um, when I'm done extruding, I click OK. Now my next step is I want to draw a triangle here on the top and I want to use a new tool called extrude cut to push that down. So again, I want to sketch and I want to click sketch. It says what plane are we going to sketch on? And we'll click this top plane. I'm going to draw a line from the corner here. I'm going to draw it over. And it doesn't matter where, because we can dimension it later. I'm going to draw that line back to the corner here, and then back to the corner here. So now that that's done, I hit Escape, which gets rid of my line tool. I will use Dimension again to dimension this to 30. When I do that, the full shape should be dimension 2. Now that I'm done with the sketch, I will exit the sketch. Now I'm going to go to Features. And so far we've been ex using Extruded Boss. This time we're going to use Extruded Cut. I'll click on Extruded Cut. And you can see that it's pushing that down. So this time I'm going to extrude that cut 20. And you can see that that triangle is going to be cut off of there. So I'm happy with that, so I'll click OK. And then now what I'm going to do is do another sketch. And this time I want to sketch on this surface down here. I'm going to use my line tool again to draw a triangle from here to here. Again, back to the corner. And when I close that, you can see that's a darker blue now. I'll use my smart dimension just to make sure that this is dimensioned 20. Make sure that this is dimensioned 20 as well. Now that that's dimensioned, I will exit the sketch. My next step again will be to extrude this up. So we'll click the extrude boss. This time we only want to extrude that up 10. That should look just like our shape. Now we have another extruded cut to make. So this time I'm going to use my kind of view my orientation and I'm going to click on the back side of the shape. And then I'm going to sketch on this plane here on the back. So I will click on that as our sketch surface. And then I'm going to grab my sketch tool. And this time I'm going to draw a rectangle from here to here. And we need to dimension that. So I'm going to dimension the shape of it as 10 high. And we're going to, and then we got to do the width of it as in 10 too. So now that that's done, I can exit the sketch. And then now we're going to go to features and again do the extruded cut. Click on extruded cut and you can see you can see it being cut through. This time, instead of doing a blind cut at a certain depth, we're actually going to do a cut that's through all. And it's going to cut all the way through it. And I like that, so I'm going to click OK. And you can see here that I have that shape drawn. I'm going to use my view orientation, and I like the isometric orientation quite a bit. So hopefully that helps you get yours completed. Please let me know if you're running into any errors. But again, it's just a simple process of sketching and extruding, sketching and cutting, sketching, extruding, sketching and cutting. All right, good luck, students.